arbitrary blanket spread of shutting down businesses about putting all of these workers um, out of business is just, it's a disaster. New York Governor Cuomo is coming down hard on law-abiding citizens that have followed the coronavirus regulations and are gradually coming out of home confinement. If we have a high number of violations of the policy, which is which is tantamount to a high likelihood of the spread of the virus. And the local governments are not monitoring, policing, doing the compliance. Yes, there is a very real possibility that we would roll back the reopening in those areas. Meanwhile, a blind eye ignores the chaos reigning amongst the protesters. We moved over here to Grand Army Plaza where there was a massive group of protesters here on the 18th straight day of protest. We saw something we hadn't seen since this movement began, talking about the fight for black trans lives. The origins of COVID-19 have been propagandized to favor the Chinese government, while numerous researchers have countered that propaganda, revealing that the coronavirus could have only been created in a lab. Sky News recently reported on a scientific study which found COVID-19 may have been a cell culture uniquely adapted for transmission to humans. The paper, currently under peer review, comes from Flinders University professor Nikolai Petrovsky, who has spent over two decades developing vaccines against influenza, Ebola, and animal SARS. He says his findings allow for the possibility that COVID-19 leaked from a laboratory. Now we're examining not just whether the virus inadvertently leaked from a laboratory in Wuhan, it's most likely the Wuhan Institute of Virology, not just whether it was an accidental leak, but whether it was created in a laboratory, yes, created. This is a possibility. So we started modeling the COVID-19 virus back in January uh, in order to design a vaccine candidate. And when, when we had finished the design of the vaccine candidate, we, we then went on to explore whether we could use the same modeling approach to try and better understand where the virus originally came from. We found that the COVID-19 virus uh, was particularly well adapted to bind to human cells, and that was far superior to its ability to bind the cells of any other uh, animal species, which is, is quite unusual because typically when a virus is, is well adapted to an animal and then it by chance crosses to a human, typically you would expect it to originally have lower binding to human cells than to the original host animal. We found the opposite, so, so that was a big surprise. Propaganda can't juggle the truth forever. The cover-up of the origins of coronavirus will have to be addressed. John Bound reporting.